Well, Bob and Ashley, when we were out in that neighborhood today, there were several children playing outside, but none of them were alone. Many parents telling their kids now that there's safety in numbers. It is very disturbing. Greg Davis is a father of four boys and one daughter. There you go, guys. They live across from the church parking lot where Tuesday a young boy had a scary encounter. There was a man with a beard uh, and a, a reddish van. According to the police report, the man was trying to get kids into the van with him. Despite being on scene quickly, police didn't find anyone matching that description. But they're not taking the situation lightly. We'll stay diligent. And uh, matter of fact, we sent out um, unmarked vehicles um, for the last couple of days patrolling neighborhoods and just seeing if we can locate that a red van. Davis heard what happened from neighbors. He says last year his children had a scare in that same church parking lot. Like a silver truck had, had whipped into the parking lot and quickly opened the door and somebody, a gray-haired man, had jumped out. Davis says his oldest son yelled for his okay. sister to come quickly and they all ran home. Whether anything would have happened, I don't know. Um, but I think I was proud of our kids for being wary. He and his wife allowed their kids some time on their own to be able to grow and make decisions. But in this day and age, they feel they have to warn them of potential dangers. We just say, okay, you know, these things can happen, so be aware. Make sure you're always looking around. You're always looking out for one another. Now, thankfully, no one was injured or actually abducted. But if you do have any information about this, call Cersei Police. Bob and Ashley. Okay.